we're going to look at private, public and protected methods and attributes in object-oriented programming. Let's start by first looking at public methods and attributes. We already have experience of this because attributes and methods are by default public. So we can see here that shape, because it doesn't have any preceding underscores before it, and also color here, these are our public methods and attributes there. So if we now try to access those outside the class, so s.color here and s.shape here, so we've defined our object s and do s.color and s.shape. If we save that, run that now, we can see that, that all works fine. So public methods we can access outside the class. Let's have a look now at private methods. So private methods and attributes are defined with a double underscore before its identifier name. Um, so that's it for shape and then similarly for color here. So the color attribute here and shape method here. Both of them are private. So let's see what happens when you try to access those outside of the, of the uh, class. Let's put in the double underscores there. We save that and let's run that. And you can see now we get an error. And that's because with private attributes and methods, we cannot access them outside of the class that they're in. You can access them, access them within the class, but not outside of the class. So they are private, private to that class. Let's now have a look at protected methods. So protected methods have a single underscore before the attribute name or, or the method name. So the, these are the two here. So underscore shape there, underscore color there are our protected ones. So we'll remove remove our underscore here and remove one of the underscores here. So it's only a single underscore now. And if we run this, we are able to access those even though we shouldn't be able to access those because with protected protected attributes and methods, you can access, access them from within the same class and also from the subclass, but you shouldn't be able to access them from outside of the class, but clearly we're able to do that. Now in Python, using underscores like this and double underscores is a convention, so it's not strictly able to deal with public, private and protected, protected attributes and methods. So we use the underscore as a, as a convention. Now, if you ever see underscore like this, then you should never try to access them from outside the class as I've just done here. So that should not be, the, that should something you should not do. So it's really by convention, by telling the programmer, do not use this attribute method outside of this class if you see a protected method. It's okay with, with private methods because they, it simply doesn't work. Let me just run that again. You can see that doesn't doesn't actually work when we try to run it so let's let's do that again so that that's fine so it, it'll return you errors and you won't be able to use them but with protected methods you have to be a little bit more careful in Python